What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to live stream on YouTube using OBS. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So for this I am on my gaming channel, and first of all when you are on YouTube, you want to come to your creator studio, and then come down until you see live stream and select it. Now from here you want to make sure you're on the stream now beta. And over here on the side, as you can see, it says live streaming checklist. You don't need to worry about this because these are just tips that YouTube give you. What you actually need to do is scroll all the way down. Here is the basic info so you can name your live stream. Um, I'm going to call this FIFA 17, for example, if I was going to stream that. And streaming options is here. You can enable a DVR, which means the viewers can seek back to four hours, meaning if they are late to the stream and you've been streaming for a while, they can come back or they can use the little timeline thing and they can go back in time of the stream. Here are the stream optimizations, as you can see, optimize for interaction, which is for low latency. And here is optimized for less viewer buffering. Now over to the side, as you can see, it's monetization, which means make money off your live stream. So you would check this if you want to have ads on your live stream as well. Over here is cards and you can add cards, which means you can add videos, channel, polls, or links to something and it'll come up on your live stream. Then of course, the most important thing in order to live stream is right here, encoder setup, and we need the server URL and the stream name or key. So now we're in OBS, what you need to do is head over to the settings tab. From there, you wanna head over to stream. And as you'll see, it says streaming type. And mine is set to custom streaming just because I think it's better because I'm using their actual URL and using my own stream key. But you can also come to streaming services, choose the service and choose YouTube or YouTube gaming. As you can see, the server is set to primary YouTube ingest server. If you press that, you can also use the backup server. I'd recommend the primary server if you do it this way, but for me, I'm going to use the custom streaming server. So we're back on YouTube and where it says server URL, we're going to copy this by selecting it, right clicking and selecting copy. Back on OBS, we're going to paste that URL right here and the next thing, we need a stream key. So we're back on YouTube and here is the stream key. I'm not going to show you this because that means if you see this key, you're able to live stream on my gaming channel if you see this key. So that is important for anyone and make sure no one but you sees this key. Okay, so I have my live stream key. I'm going to paste it here and now I'm going to select apply and okay. The next thing I need to do is come over to the side and select start streaming. It's going to connect if we are now live streaming as I'm recording this tutorial. So we're gonna head back over to YouTube. As you can see, receiving your content, your audience will, audience will see it in a moment, get ready. And as you can see, it's got the green uh, button here and it says starting. And as you can see, it is just loaded up. We're now live streaming onto YouTube using OBS. Uh, I think there's about a five second delay, maybe. I'm not too sure, we'll see. Okay, no, about a 10 second delay. As you can see here is the elapsed time as well. It tells us the time here in the live stream so we can see the time difference or how much this is delayed. Then of course, to stop your stream as always, just come back to OBS and select stop streaming. And we head back to YouTube. This will slowly stop streaming once, as you can see, we're gonna press it here and this will stop. As you can see, stream complete offline. So, as you can see, it automatically does end up uploading to YouTube as well. So I'm gonna delete that very quickly. But that is it for this video. As you can see, it is very simple to live stream using OBS on YouTube. The next video on OBS, I'll be covering the best OBS live stream settings for you. But that is how easy it is to live stream using OBS on YouTube. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.